Good evening everyone. Um, it's August here in the UK and uh, summer's coming to an end and I thought it was a good idea just to show you a quick video of a process that I get up to at this time of year, end of August. Um, I've been breeding moths here in the UK, hawk moths, and this year I've bred, bred uh, privet hawk moths. And uh, for those of you who aren't familiar, the privet hawk moth is the largest of our moths here in the UK. Uh, this is one. They're about five inches across, tip to tip on the wings when they're spread out, and a very, very spectacular species. But um, at this time, I've been uprooting my pupae, and uh, throughout the summer, I've had the larvae netted off on a privet bush in my garden. And uh, when the time comes, they need to burrow down into soil, which they do so in these containers here. There's three in each pot, and I write the date on those so I know when they've gone down in there. Um, the process is to grab one of these boxes, which are full of soil, and we basically turf them out into this uh, wheelbarrow. As you can see, it's full of uh, soil from this stack of boxes that I've just been through, but uh, I thought I'd like to share it with you anyway, so here goes. So, we take the box, lid off, and gently shake out the soil. There's one, there's two, and there's three. Now empty. So if I can home in and give you a view of these. You'll see appearing on the soil here, a bit more light on the matter, of a pupae. And those are the three that I've just turfed out. Um, if I pick one up, close to view, this is a privet hawk moth pupae. And what I do, I scrutinise these. Um, you actually count the rings on the pupae to determine the sex. Uh, the females have three complete rings and the males have four. Um, sometimes you have to look very closely um, with the aid of uh, a small magnifying glass like this if I can't be too sure. That one is a female. So she goes over here. Females in this one, males in this one. They then get transferred to this box. This is basically a hatching box. Uh, the females will go one side, the males will go the other, so they're segregated. And uh, when they hatch out, I've made this net structure to allow the emerging moths to climb up. They'll climb to the top and then they'll expand their wings and uh, they won't be infringed by the box, so it's quite a natty little thing. So this is the process. Um, I think I'm going to end up with probably 70 or so this year. These are the females and the males so far. And I've still got uh, quite a stack of boxes to go, but I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, it's an interesting process. Um, so far the males are ahead this year, but uh, we'll see how that goes. I've got a few more boxes to go. Take care, thanks for watching, and please like and share. Bye now.